What is up, everyone? Welcome to my 12th episode of the Vampire Playthrough with the beautiful Amanda, wherever you are, little lady, and Drake. I don't really remember. Oh, sorry, my phone's not off. My bad. Forgot to turn off my phone. Anyways, let's start doing our things. Oh, we got new content in our inventory. We got uh, plasma fruit seeds. Hey, oh! Dude, did they really just give us free plasma fruit seeds? They just gave us plasma fruit. Well, I guess we could plant more. Someone in the stream said, well, someone in, uh, in the comments told me to just plant it in the ground. I don't like planting them in the ground. I like everything to look nice, but like, oh well. It's cheaper. I gotta go with whatever's cheaper, do it up. Anyways, throughout this episode, I wanna complete his lifetime wish, so two days and we will be done with this lifetime wish. How exciting is that, guys? We have almost made it through. I am like, I'm a horrible procrastinator, so I I was gonna come online, I was gonna start recording, and I was sitting here for a half hour watching these atrocious, horrible freaking documentaries. Oh my god, they were so... Bad. One of them was real life vampires. And I was like, oh, cool. I'm playing the vampire playthrough. Probably recommended it because of it. And it was quite cringy. It was like these teenage. I don't know, guys. I'm all down. I think vampire is pretty bomb. Real life vampire is pretty unrealistic. Is my volume all the way up? Yes. All right, cool. Just do this. I was like, I was all flustered. I was watching it. It was kind of cringy. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm not sure if I am a, am a believer of real life vampires. I think vampires in this game are bomb, but real life? Uh, I don't know. Seems unrealistic. Wait, did you complete your lifetime wish? No, all right, we have to become friends with three offsprings. That's what we were doing last. So three offsprings. I think we're gonna need to bite more people so we can have more offsprings. She's an offspring. We're good friends with her. You're an offspring. Good friends with you. Not an offspring. Um, you're an offspring. Good friends. Mas Mizuki. Kind of bum. Okay, can you invite him to hang out? I know it's 5 a.m. He's sleeping. Well, also we're gonna we're gonna need to bite two more people so we can find other offspring. Supposedly there's two other people that are my offspring already. I just don't know where the heck they are. Because I think we already had offspring, right? Yeah, convert five into fully grown vampires. So, we're missing two. I just don't know who the last two are. Oh, wow. She has a, a lot of points to use here. Uh, what to use her points on? Never wearies useless. We could get super green thumb. Make uh, plasma fruit kick butt. Carefree, never get tense. Antiseptic. They do have hygiene. We could get antiseptic, but I think she can end up getting that as a top skill. So maybe we won't do that. I don't know what I want to do. We'll just, we'll keep it for now. Yo, can you eat, drink these? Eat some plasma fruit. Drake, plasma fruit time. And then you can come here and, uh, I want her to start practicing searching for more information. <laughs> Ideally, I want her to level up a few more times. I would like to get her to become the grand vampire she's dreaming of today. That's kind of my goal. I'd like to be a grand vampire by the end of the day. That'd be pretty bomb, in my opinion. I'd really like that. Just be in a better mood. Cannot be bored when, uh, when requesting vampirism. All right, good. And the little child's still asleep. Little Cullen upstairs. What a cutie pie he is. Yo, will you, uh, can you get off the TV and, uh, mentor skills good? Oh, nope, chose not to mentor. Let's do it, little one. Look at the way she looks at her. One day I hope I have a vampire look at me that same way. Laura! 
I feel like she has so many more points than what's his name had. Oh my god. Can someone help him? Wait, he's coming downstairs or is he gonna poop upstairs? Big poop. Alright, good. He's pooping, he's pooping, he's pooping. Toddler is a helpless toddler. Cullen is a helpless toddler. Caregivers and other siblings in the household need to. Oh. My god, I haven't seen these in ages. I removed like all like notes for these to pop up. Lessons. I just I haven't seen those in so long. It's been a while. Wow, that baby really had a poop. Do I do the poop of scoops? I'm not hundred percent sure if today we were supposed to I think we were. I think today we we're supposed to age him up. Or is that next episode? We'll wait till next episode. I'll give him an extra day if he needed it, and if he didn't, then uh, maybe I'm on course. I don't know. Can I uh, please put Colin in his seat? Oh. Good, good. Nice job. Really does not like that hissing. I'm not sure how we're gonna... Maybe hissing is a, actually a horrible trait. Hissing is a really bad trait for people at the house. Oh my god, this is a horrible trait. I didn't think hissing would be so, uh, so constant. I wish, oh wait, we can reset points. I didn't realize that. Wait, I think there's a spell or something you eat to reset points. I just don't remember what it was. Where are those lessons? <laughs> the lessons can help me. Vampires. Vampires? Oh, they don't even have vampire lessons yet. Dang it! Sims, you're letting me down! Yeah, they don't even have a vampire lesson yet. Oh, I'm gonna have to yell at the devs. <laughs> Dang it. How are we ever gonna change them back to normal? I guess someone in chat will probably tell me, right? One of you guys probably know. Someone in comments will help me out, I hope. Right? Alright, leave a comment if you know what I'm supposed to eat or drink to... Remove hissing, because I'd like to move hissing from the both of them. Seems like a, honestly, a horrible trait. I used to think it was a really good trait. I was like promoting the crap out of it. I was like, who cares about hissing? I thought it was a mood lit thing, but really it seems to have a lot more, uh, a lot more impact. It makes everyone hate you. That's in your house, especially your child. And as you can imagine, our child hating us is not our ideal goal in this, uh, in this wonderful playthrough. We have to bite people. Can you invite... We'll bite this dude. Like, I don't even know who he is. Invite him to hang out. We'll bite him. I think that's the only person I have on my friends list that is... Uh, I will be right over. All right, um, can you just go up to him and turn him? Make it fast and... Fast and quick. Good. All right. And then, do you have any vampires that you could turn? Or non-vampires, ideally. Invite Hero of Romania. He's actually one of my Twitch viewers. He's still in the wonderful world of Sims with us because he participated in the prison challenge, I believe. Invite him out. Is he on his way? Oh, wait, I don't think she can turn another vampire right now. I'm pretty sure is how it works. We can try it, though. Dude, she can just turn someone right off the bat. Alright, boom, boom, done. Dude, check that. Oh, she's gonna die. Get inside. She's a Grandmaster! Oh, oh, Grandmaster! There it is. There it is. Never decrease. Uh, social never decreases. Mm, more resistant to mood changes. Uh, 
Wow, we still have 12 points to use. Holy crap, we have a lot of points. We could just make our super strong, but like, what's the point of making our super strong? Uh, when a prey is moving too quickly, or won't stop, put him into a trance. I don't think I want to kill people. I feel like that's really mean. We could start killing Sims. I'll let you guys pick in chat. Oh, I need another one? Uh, only able to sleep in coffin. What's this one? Yo, you really need to dark meditate now. I really messed her up bad. I messed her up bad. Yeah, I really messed up her skills. Damn. Yo, that little one, someone in the comments said the little one needs toys, and oh, do I agree. If you guys have noticed, I literally read like every comment. I know I'm weird like that. I sit there and read comments when I'm like chilling out and it's so nice. Oh, I love it. I love reading what you guys have to say. Um, okay. So I have two more days. What can we do with you? I think we actually need to make you best friends with these people. Discuss games and tell a joke about mimes and recall mortal life, which is very relatable because they'll soon be able to do that. We have to become good friends with both these people so when they become when they both become vampires we can uh, have that lifetime wish complete. I never got that kid toys. Toys, toys, toys. We'll just throw him down something so he can play with. Here, I have a slablet. It's kind of expensive. Hopefully the child likes it if he wants it. Oh, we made a new friend! <gasps> oh wait, maybe we can make them like us more with one of these. Nearby is fine. Amanda attractive. Learn all personal traits. Game powered. I still don't know what that does. Actually, that's kind of aggravating. There's, there's all these bad ones for vampires, but no huh? good ones. Like, why do vampires have to be such horrible people? Dude, these people are going to love us. Look at all these great things. <laughs> I, I would hate this. I hate talking to people. It would be way too much for me. Okay. I'm starving. I can't even eat food, so we're not going to do that. Was that everything? To be, end up becoming good friends with this guy? We're only friends. We need to become good friends, little one. Invite him back. All right, invite in. All right, you have to be my good friend. Share photos. All right, gossip. Can we get a person here to take care of them? Hire a... Where are you? Hire a service. I'm not going to take care of this child right now. It's too much work. And then hire a nanny. Yo, we could actually complete this right now. We complete both lifetime wishes this episode. If he rushes on over, we'll be up there at 8.13 p.m. Thank you, Hero Mania is coming over. All right, here's Hero of Mania, here we go. This is our chance. Double down on these. Don't start Prosperous Room, that's a horrible idea. Come on. Oh my god, we actually might get it done. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. It will be the first time I've ever completed a lifetime wish. If you guys are wondering what we're doing, we just have to become good friends with two of our offspring. Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Did you guys see that? Amanda has finally become the Mark 
matriarch, matriarch, sorry. She always wanted to be a man that has successfully established a powerful clan of vampires. Ah! So what do we get? Wait a second, this should be on the other move. That's right. I am the master. I'm the master. Grants supernatural control commands used on vampire offspring. Let's check out what those commands are. Right, well, I'm just gonna get a deep drink anyways because I'm allowed to, but... Yo, I need a deep drink. Calm down. I'm taking a deep drink if you're happy or not. We're good friends. Good friends let people take deep drinks. Thank you. Oh wait, they aren't vampire -y enough. Let's invite over one of our other vampire friends. I think it's, yeah, it doesn't look late enough yet. Offspring, uh... Oh wait, he, that person's actually here, let's find him. Let's see, oh wait, we could probably, is this one of our offspring? No, I don't even know you. I don't know you either. Where, where's our offspring? I know you're around here. Offspring! Must test out new vampire abilities. I guess not. I guess we'll do it another day. Well, we'll invite them over eventually, sometime this episode, to show off the new vampire abilities. Because I want to know what we get. Because it seems very special, you know? Kind of seemed like a big deal. At least it made me think it was a big deal. I'm not sure if it actually is or not. Like a lifetime wish. We should get something awesome out of it. Oh, now we have to pick a new lifetime wish. Um, at least we could try and complete another lifetime wish with her. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe another lifetime wish. Drink a plasma pack. Don't drink deeply for three days. Well, we're gonna have to wait for that. Don't drink deeply for three days. But damn, we have seven, almost 8k points to use. I don't even know what to use all these points on. Vampire sun seems like such a fast way to earn points. Like, holy moly. And we don't even have to worry about any of our needs anymore, which is so cool. Um, 8k points. I've never had so many. I wish they still had those crazy items from Sims 2. I'm not sure if they were in Sims 3. I think they were as well. But Sims 2 had those really crazy items. Oh, it was so cool. Um... We can make her a better rider. We can get free services. Do free services work in a butler, though? And we get, like, the cheaper bills. Cheaper bills. Frugal. I wonder. I wonder if it would work in a butler. My house isn't big enough for a butler, so that doesn't really matter, but... Yo, that's so cool. We're not gonna have to worry about her like at all now. She's gonna just be a writing machine. She's gonna be a writing machine. She just sit there and write for days without a. Oh well. Oh, I was gonna hit repair. Oh, well, that was four hundred bucks. That's like two days of freaking stipends. Promo promoted to minor crime lord. Uh, Drake has been promoted to minor crime lord. He will make an additional nine simoleons per hour for a grand total of 32 simoleons per hour. He has made 804 simoleons as a bonus and he's gotten new clothes. And he doesn't work again. Or he works again today? I don't know. You have those things in your pocket, right? Yeah, drink some plasma. Nice, nice. Aw, oh, dude. This is going to be so easy now that we've gotten all that done. You only have to survive for one more day. And you have 3k lifetime points to use. Damn, that's a lot of lifetime points. Uh, where to put that? 
I don't know where to put that. You know what, guys? I think I'm actually going to end it on that note so we can complete the next lifetime wish tomorrow and uh, also age up the toddler. Uh, maybe we'll wait one more episode to age up the toddler so we can get another lifetime wish done. Thank you so much for watching. I seriously do appreciate it. If you guys had fun, look below and hit that follow button on the Twitter and Twitch and uh, subscribe, like, do all those things. Hopefully, we can all talk very soon. I greatly appreciate everything you guys are doing for me. It's so nice having all this support, especially through live streaming and now um, posting daily, almost daily, on YouTube. It's so much work, but it's worth every second. I love spending it with you guys. Lifetime wish vampire family milestone. Anyways, like, comment, all that stuff, and we'll catch you next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys.